Tell you about it in a minute. I wouldn't know either. Would you believe it? The wonderful Faith Brown. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Thank you. You do. So do you. Welcome. Welcome. Now, what about that little clip that we showed from Doctor Who? You were chief cry on. I was, and I it was funny it because well. Danielle, Danielle was, I think, four or five at the time. Your wasn't daughter. She? Yeah, mm -hmm. my daughter, Danielle. And uh, she was so excited about me appearing on Doctor Who. She said, she went back to school and she said, uh, guess what? Mummy's going to be in Doctor Who. And you know what she's going to be? A crayon. <laughs> <laughs> she really did. And I, she was so uh, excited. I'm very <laughs> excited about that. Yes. yes I, I was also a crayon. Um, you were, weren't in, you, in Doctor Who, yeah. I was one of your minions, and I got killed off in the first episode. <laughs> by, look, there I am, there. Yes. Look, except I hadn't used the earmat. Can you but see? You look, I, I'm covered in, I'm covered <laughs> in that sort of walrus moustache. All the minions, at least you didn't have, you had warts on your but face. But I had warts all over my face. It just shows you what they thought of me. <laughs> but I remember when I was playing this, it was amazing, because I used to have to have long... Uh, nails, the false nails, put on. And it was the same as the mask. It was the same fabric as the mask. And they used to keep coming off the nails all the time, yeah? So what... Tell you, me you know, it. well, it was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> couldn't so, scratch your nose or I anything. Say, no, no, I saw you scratching your nose all there. <laughs> anyway, I was delivering a line to Colin, Doctor Who, Colin Baker, and I said to him, you must go. And I had my hand on his shoulder and I said, you must go now. Go, Doctor. And as I... As I pulled my hand away, I left three nails <laughs> on his shoulder. So I said, eh, I don't know why I should have done that, you know what I mean? I wish I had that was in you know. And it was dead straight because everything... And the cameraman will kill himself laughing. We had to do it again because the, the cameraman will rail a laugh and like you, like you know. Um, do, do, that, do that crayon voice again for me a minute. You must go. No, I'm sorry, go who now. does that remind you of? It's Mystic for Meg, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's oh, Mystic no. Meg. I'm sure that you were the inspiration for Mystic Do you think Meg. So? Yeah. I, wish I, I guarantee get... it. Oh, I wish I could win, dear. I wish I could win. We all. Was that your acting debut? Was that the first time you played? Yeah, well, that character? was the first one. Because when they rang me up, you know, to say that, um, you know, we would like you to play in Doctor Who, I thought they got me mixed up with somebody else, you know. And I thought, oh, great. I was so excited about the whole thing. I thought, this is it, a straight actress. Well, almost straight. <laughs> yeah. actress. That's that anyway, we could tell it was you, actually. It was the, the, the boobs. boobs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. <laughs> hey, listen, nobody, I don't know that anybody knows this, but... Sarah, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot now. Because you came to me at for Posh Frocks. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I looked all the way through a wardrobe. That's we right. Had such we, fun. Had a, <gasps> we had a fabulous time. But do you remember? What? You were. Uh, she's a great impressionist, this one. Oh, do it, please. Do your little oh. Janet. Janet oh. Story. Oh, no, I have to have the teeth. Oh, in. no, you don't. No. Because I, I had the orange peel she teeth. She had the orange peel. And I could die in there like that. So that's why. Yeah, well, I can do it. But I have to have the teeth in to do no, it. No, you don't. I'll she's find some for later. All right, I'll do it then. later. Brilliant. Okay? I'll, do, I'll do it for you later. I'll have you all excited. <laughs> oh, I don't think. <laughs> now, having started as a singer, a very successful singer, how did the impressions begin to creep in to the act? How, oh, how did that happen? Golly, well, I. <laughs> I've told this story so many times. I was singing a song, because I'm a singer first and foremost, right? I was singing this song, Get Ready. No, never met a crowd that makes me feel the way that you do, you're all right. And as I said, you're all right, the zip went from top to bottom. And I just literally lip lapsed into, I didn't even know I was doing an impression, and I lapsed into a Hilda Baker voice, if anybody remembers Hilda Baker. And I said, oh, when <laughs> will you get me some pins out of the dressing room? <laughs> and then went running through the audience to the back of the stage and, and got pins and pinned me up. And that's how my career started. It up as an impressionist, honestly and truthfully. Yeah. Just never look back. Have I love, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're when you're at home with Len and if Danielle's around and they've heard you all day switching from voice to voice so easily, does it ever get to them that they say, please, Mum, please, Faith, be you? <laughs> oh Stop. no, I do. I tell Len off something's wrong sometimes. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. I mean, it's good because what I do is I just practice on them. Yeah, they do tell me to shut up because, I mean, like, especially when I was doing Dame Edna, darling, you know what I mean? It was a hard little voice and they got really fed up. You little bossom, you, you know? No, that was hard. 
hard on the old larynx. Yes. I really found that hard. And of course, I'll sell well, I'll, 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 cos it really hurts to do well. It does. Put a glass of champagne there. Well, you yeah. Oh, that. Yes. Well, are, eh? <laughs> no, don't. Uh, you've already mentioned Len a couple yes. of times. Uh, he's so much a part of your career, is, as yeah. well and apart from being your husband. Mm -hmm. What? What's the secret formula here of the success? It's been 25 years, still going strong. Is there a secret formula you're prepared to divulge to us no, today? No, no, I just think it's give and take, really. I take and he gives. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Well, I think in any marriage, you have to work at a marriage. I think so. And uh, we do work at it. And, and, of course, Len travels around with me as well. You'd think I'd be getting fed up with each other, wouldn't you? But no, no, he's, he's great. He really is. And he keeps my feet. You need somebody to keep your feet down, you know, on the ground. And he does do that. Yes. Well, I know that you're going to be doing some more telly. Oh, yes. Um, and what about anything else? Any movies coming up? Anything like well, that? Well, I'm uh, looking at a script at the moment for movies, also for a tour, theatre tour, and also a play, television play. So every, you're I'm busy. really excited. Yeah. But will you stay with me right now? Oh, well, I will. OK, because I want you to listen to some music with me. Oh, it's he's fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you very much for the moment, ladies and gentlemen, Faith Brown. Thank you. Thank you. Dominic Kerwin, here he is with the answer to everything.